uh, he's got some great wins at Nationals too, so let's see what Connor's got. Oh, well, that was an option. Okay, he gets a quick shine. Oh, oh. really smart by Army to get Nana out of there before she gets double shined. Oh, okay, okay, and well. there's, yeah. So, kind of trying to keep Nana up in the air, but eventually she gets back down and Army gets a grab confirmed into Wobble. So that's going to be the first shot. Let's see uh, if Army can get some percent going before uh, he ends up losing his Nana. Okay, great job to get that grab in order to save Nana. Stage. The back air. Good save by Army. Yeah, Connor's doing a pretty good job of just keeping them separated. And mashes out right on time. Uh-oh. Whoa! That was a slick grab. Army catching Connor trying to play in between the platform, jumping up and down through it. He goes down under it and then double comes back up through it, and Army just raw grabs and catches him. Jeez. Um, Nana should be close to dead by Okay, now. there we go. Got him. Now, it's going to be really important, it, especially seeing how oh, man. much Connor is, is prioritizing killing Nana. It's going to be really important to see uh, him not... Like, like, absolutely dominate the Sopo part of this matchup. Nice wave dash. Sure, ledge dash down smash. Oh my goodness. Missed ledge dash by Connor. And all of a sudden, Arnie's got a, a quick and strong lead. Nice get up attack to call the wave land on the plat side platform. Oh, chain grabs him. Yeah, that it not a true chain grab. It, it is definitely DI dependent. Yeah. But if they uh, DI away to get out of the chain grab, then it becomes a tech situ a ch tech chase situation as well. So yeah. yeah. So you're you're most likely going to get regrab like within one of the situations. Yeah. You have you have a, a couple different ways to get the regrab if you're uh, cognizant of, of how they're DI. Um, that's going to be the first game. Uh, let's see what Connor wants to do for game two. Uh, this is still best of three, so Connor uh, is going to have to deal with at least one ban. Mm. Um, Might see the peach. I would assume so. I'm not sure. Uh, it, I think it could go either way. I mean, I know uh, top players feel that both of the, those matchups are really hard for the ice climbers. Oh, man, is that... Oh, wow! Clips Nana on the way back on that FB. I can't believe it reached that far, but Connor able to clean up pretty easily anyway. All of a sudden, a different Ooh. start from game one. <laughs> All right, Connor's playing pretty quick. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of turning it on right here. Let's see if he can keep it going. All right, separates them. Ooh. Oh, Nana's get up attack. Clips Connor as he's trying to combo oh, with Sopo. Nice oh. little handoff in order to take that into a wobble. With no risk of getting a, of Connor mashing out. So good stuff to Army right there. Gets in there, but it looks like it was crouch canceled. Okay, and then with the jabs. Dead for no. Okay. Connor seems to be uh, mixing up a little bit more than game one, whether or not he's gonna continue going for Nana or switch it up and go after Popo. You know, game one, he, like, really, really focused on just killing Nana. Very nice little uh, shine turnaround back air to take Nana out for the second time. And that shine's going to do it. Okay, so Connor's up by a little bit. Um, obviously, you know, you can never count Ice Climbers out in this set, uh, matchup. Oh, man, man, there it is. Land on that platform. Grab him. Missing Tex is so tough against Icy's. Like you, you basically never can or you're in deep trouble. Like doing anything with Icy's where you're not playing perfect, it's like, oh, well, there goes my stun. Oh, oh, man. Army reads the double, the tech roll and the normal roll back in. Oh. And he gets the grab off of it. A really good presence of mind by Army to recognize that Connor didn't feel comfortable off that tech roll. And wait for the, the second, that second hand of so crucial to be like with that kind of presence of mind as an Icecanders player. Ooh, Nana with the taunt. Not able to get the... Oh. Yeah. So one of the big uh, like challenges um, for for like this match where or Icy's against Spacey's in general is uh, that you have this like problem with like wave dash, jab, grab. Like that's super fast and super like clean way to get uh, an early wobble, right? 
And uh, what Connor was looking for there is he wanted to crouch cancel the jab into probably Shine, um, but he just barely missed the input, or, or I don't know, he, he didn't quite realize what was happening in time. So uh, instead of being able, like he did crouch cancel the jab, but he didn't get anything off of it. And even though he got the crouch cancel, he had the actionable frames, he still just gets wobbled anyway yeah, because the grab comes out in time. So uh, almost a really good play there by Connor, but uh, in the end, uh, Army was ready for it. All right, let's see who we got coming up here next. Have you had a chance to look at the bracket? I did. Uh, let's see, bracket. Oh, great, my phone's frozen. <laughs> let's see what we oh, got no, here. Oh, no, it's not. Smash GG's is not working for me, that's all. Did you get booted from the Wi-Fi? Uh, I'm not on Wi-Fi, so I'm oh, assuming okay. yes. So, looks like we got Squid versus Smash Daddy and MACD versus Mega Christmas uh, in winner's quarters, uh, along with Lucky versus Aang, which is what we're about to see here. Oh, wow. This should be pretty exciting. So, uh, Lucky, everyone knows Fox player. Aang is a quite strong Fox Marth dual main, and um, 